Hi everybody, welcome back to Wicked Whiskers. Today's shave is going to be inspired by some of your comments and some of my personal thinkings lately. First of all, what happens when YouTuber receive a promotional razor? What happens with it after unboxing? So, I noticed that quite a lot of guys just do the unboxing video and you never see that razor again. And since I'm quite frequently using mine, I thought maybe just to give it a little bit more spin. Soap will be ProRaso White. And as for the brush, Daniel, my eyes on you. So, I added just a little bit of water inside, just enough to dip the brush, so it is a little bit wet, not soaked, and let's see how it's working. Now since I piled quite a lot of soaps, and maybe that would be a theme for some next videos. I thought that maybe it's not so good idea to use this brush because if I kept using my more economical brushes then I probably won't be buying a new soap for years which might be a little bit boring for all of you. But since one of our friends from the channel commented that he recently bought this brush, I wanted to repeat couple of shapes with it, just to see is my memory of this brush fresh and how do I feel it after the razor rock and some other brushes which I've used. So, as you can see, pretty nice, sturdy, good performance brush nothing too wild, also not too much of a dripping, small loft which is quite easy to generate the leather, it's not that floppy as the black one, and also more than enough leather for to pass shapes. So, speaking about uh, YouTube promotions, I forgot to test the Willys blades made in India and comes in a very generous 10 plus 1 packaging. So I will take this one and I will use this atomic spacecraft semi slant. I don't know, when I was Picking up my razor for today, I stumbled upon this pearl semi slant. And the first thing which crosses my mind when I take a look at the handle, the head design, it's almost as you asked Mr. Jetson, how do you perceive safety razors in the future? And this could be something like that. So this one, I was pretty content in terms of shave results, overall cutting power. Although I'm not a big fan of thin handles, this one is pretty grippy. And I could swear that at pearl shaving there is one razor designer who is actually 
using traditional razors. Because everything on this one is just placed where it should be. However you grip it, there will be some standpoint of the razor, so you hold it in just the right way how it should be handled. So besides the looks, the guys at Pearl Shaving are obviously using their products or at least design them in a way how they should be used which is pretty nice a very nice very efficient razor I would say somewhere halfway between R89 and and it's land razor. Perhaps this is not that skewed blade in two directions. This is more like just tilted on one side. but still very nice and uh, you know just in case that you don't really need a slant and you need something just a little bit over the standard closed bar razors as you can see not too much of the head light so it's just a little bit tilted which makes this razor attacking the whiskers in just a fraction, fraction of more aggressiveness but still it's not something which will be that too harsh for your skin Okay, now since it is rinsed, I will just re-wet the brush a little bit because on shave I sense that I maybe picked too much of the soap and I noted before that Prorasso White is just a little bit more creamier than other versions so it's quite easy to overdone it with it but still very nice very protective very creamy So after two passes I would say this is pretty pretty nice and clean, no issues so far with the Willis blades, but we will check it out with the aftershave.
Yes, same on the other side. very nice and smooth on the chin as well but maybe it's the light maybe I have a sort of redness on my chin I worry that maybe it's the blade because I didn't sense anything with this razor in unboxing videos and initial testings and I've used it for daily work week shaves never had an issue with it so maybe the blade is a little bit rough we will see with aftershave For everything else, it's working quite magically. Very comfortable, very little leftovers, yeah, a couple of nicks on the second pass, as you can see, but not like the cut, so maybe I just had some flat growing whiskers which were cut close to skin but this is just my facial feature so don't worry about me or this razor everything is as you can see, just fine. Of course, another, another razor could work a little bit better or worse for you, depending on how you shave. I go mostly with the grain a little bit across, so that is my go-to option. Okay, I rinsed most of it. I don't know. It looks quite clean. So, no nicks, no beepers, some skin cracks, I dropped the plastic ball, so I don't think this was too great, too bad shave at all. Perhaps just a little bit of weird growing whiskers. And, to be quite honest, no tingling. I was expecting more, but really, nothing. Very smooth on the fingers. No burning even on these portions, so... Tell, tell these fine people on YouTube what is the real truth. So, that was it for the first round with the Willis blades. I would say quite decent option. I will try them with R41 and some other very specific razors which I have. So, we will see. For now, quite promising. Stay tuned and see you next time. Bye.